Hey everybody, it's Pastor Jeff, and I just wanted to reach out to you before this weekend when we're going to have our pre-Christmas service, and I want to encourage everybody to bring those that you know that need a relationship with Jesus and bring them to our Christmas service. This year we're going to have a sermon that continues out of the book of Acts, where I promise you anybody who comes will leave with a better, or biblically speaking, a more accurate understanding of the meaning of Christmas. Now, I say that to you because this is the time of year where most people who wouldn't normally go to church will accept an invitation. And so I just want to encourage the missionary in all of us to go out and be bold and do all that you can to bring people under the loving and truthful umbrella of God and His Word this coming Sunday. Now, also, in regards to this Sunday, I want to remind you that we have our annual business meeting. So if you're a member of the bridge, or if you're somebody that's interested in becoming a member of the bridge, I want to encourage you to stick around after service. This year we're going to have our business meeting, or our annual meeting, immediately following our service. We're going to bring pizza in. So if you're on Ken Island, there at the new church facility, we're going to bring pizza in after service. And here in Vermont, uh, we're going to do the same thing immediately following the service. We're going to leave the movie theater and just go up the street to the bridge office, where again, we're going to bring in pizza for a family fellowship time as we unite our two locations in Maryland and Vermont and come together for the purpose of ratifying our budget for hearing the passion and the vision for what God has laid before us in the coming year. And ultimately to just come as one, literally one faith, one family, one focus. And we're united in purpose and in vision. Now, I also want to remind you that we've got the Lottie Moon Christmas offering coming up. And I pray that you're continuing to pray over your specific involvement and contribution to this once per year special offering that goes to support our equipping and sending of nearly 5,000 missionaries around the world outside of North America. And again, I just want to stress, these are our missionaries, nearly 5,000 of them all over the world. So please be in prayer in terms of what you will do and your family will do in participating with this. Remember, our children have been collecting change for the last better part of a month uh, and collecting it in their mission socks. I pray that they'll bring those as well. Now, I also want to remind you, and this is a beautiful thing, the way it just continues to roll, that this year, again, for our 10th year in a row, we'll be out on Christmas Eve having our bridge Christmas Eve in service service. And here's the new twist, praise God. Rather than just going to Kmart on Christmas Eve, we've been open to the idea and have now been invited in to do the same thing at Big Lots. So we're going to have an early shift at Big Lots from 4.30 to 6 o'clock, wrapping presents and sharing the love of Christ, inviting people into the presence of a family of God's children, loving Him, loving one another, and demonstrating a service to the community and to the world. From 4.30 to 6, we'll be at Big Lots on Kent Island. And from 6 to 7.30, we'll go back as we've done every year since the bridge has come into existence. On Christmas Eve, we'll be at, Big, at Kmart this year. And I'm reminded, uh, Pastor Mike met somebody up in, um, in Chestertown at the hospital uh, last week who recognized his bridge logo on his jersey and said, Hey, are you the guys? You're the bridge that wraps presents on Christmas Eve? And he said, Yes, we are. And for the better part of an hour, this man continued to talk with Pastor Mike and share with others going by the blessing of this people called the bridge and how he felt the love of Christ through us. And he went on to say that he lived well more than an hour away from the island, but that he had uh, experience with us because he was one of those people that we were trying to touch. Somebody who was kind of scurrying, looking for things and needing some help last minute. And friends, if you've been out there on Christmas Eve, you may have been the missionary that touched that man's heart. 
So I just want to remind you of that, ask you to put it on your calendar. Come be a part of what God is doing in us and through us on Christmas Eve yet again. But now, much like we are in two places, Maryland and Vermont, and actually budding into a third now in Uganda, so it will be on Christmas Eve, both Big Lots and Kmart. And lastly, I want to ask you to mark your calendars for New Year's Eve. We're going to be having our first first night gathering and ministry. Uh, I want to call it more of an in-reach than an outreach because we're going to celebrate the new year and all of the promise it brings together. And we're going to do that not only together there at our new church facility, but connecting again St. John's Berry and Kent Island. Uh, our worship team is going to lead worship in much the same way we do at Helping Up Mission, where it will be a celebration of worship and a time of unification as a body. And in both cases here again, I invite you to invite your friends and family and neighbors. Let us be the church and show others what that really looks like. So with all of that, I, uh, I say to you again, praise God that we get to be the church. I pray that as we get ready to come together this weekend that you're still praying with and for Christine and, and the upcoming trip to Uganda, that you're looking forward to another Christmas where we celebrate the life of Christ, remembering always that we live because He died. He came that we could come to eternal life. Oh, what a blessed people we are. With that, I'll sign off and I look forward to seeing you this weekend. And uh, last thing, if you come to church on Sunday, I promise to bring with you a most beautiful surprise. I hope to see you then.